Engineers at Caltech have built a robot that combines flying and walking to create a new form of locomotion. The robot is called Leonardo for Legs Onboard Drone, or LEO for short. LEO has a pair of multi-joint legs for bipedal walking, but also has propeller thrusters that make its walking more stable and allow it to hop and jump. The goal of LEO is to give a robot unprecedented walking ability and also to study and solve problems posed by hybrid locomotion. LEO is capable of many tricks, tightrope walking, stair flying, skateboard riding. LEO is helping engineers rethink how robots could move in the future and could open up difficult environments to robotic exploration. The ways we work, play, and connect online are becoming richer and deeper. The next generation of computing will allow us to feel even more present and immersed in our digital lives. But getting there requires new technologies for a faster, more affordable internet for everyone, including more than 3 billion people globally who remain underconnected. And Facebook is working on those technologies right now inside the lab. The backbones of the internet are the subsea cables with capacity to support entire continents. We've invested in over 150,000 kilometers of them with dozens of partners globally. But too many people still lack high quality internet. That's why we're investing in projects like Two Africa, which will almost triple the bandwidth reaching Africa. Once these cables reach the shore, their capacity needs to get to communities. Fiber optic cables carry more than a thousand times the bandwidth of other communications technologies, but rolling them out can be difficult and expensive, especially in hard to reach areas. That's why we developed Bombix, a robot that makes it faster and cheaper to deploy fiber. Bombix uses new approaches to robotics and cable design to crawl autonomously along existing power lines, wrapping them with a new kind of lightweight fiber optic cable. But the job isn't done there. When fiber reaches a community, it still needs to connect to homes and businesses. That last mile is one of the hardest problems to solve, which is why we developed Terragraph. It bridges the last mile over the air, getting fiber speed connections to buildings wirelessly at a fraction of the cost. Technologies like these can improve connectivity everywhere, and especially in the hardest to reach areas. We're working with partners around the world to build the foundations of a faster, more affordable internet. Wind turbine blades are, are, are huge. Um, they're now in excess of 100 meters in length, and the turbines that are using them are further offshore, which means that the, the rope access technicians that currently are employed to service and maintain these blades are being put into riskier situations um, than they currently have been. Operating and maintaining wind turbines is a hugely costly and challenging task. The UK is the current world leader in installed offshore wind capacity, and in fact, the forecast growth is fourfold by 2030. Using rope access technicians to inspect and maintain these blades is a hugely risky task. It's expensive, challenging. As these wind turbine blades are getting bigger and further from shore, the complexities and risks increase. I'm Chris Cheshlack. I'm the founder and CEO of Bladebug Limited. Bladebug is a UK-based robotics company on a mission to accelerate the green energy transition through robotics and automation. The Bladebug robot consists of two primary parts. One is the robotic platform, and the second is a modular tool bay. The robotic platform consists of six highly articulated legs that use vacuum cups to adhere to the surface. These legs enable the robot to adapt and conform to the highly changing complex geometries of a wind turbine blade from a big convex cylinder at the root to highly curved aerofoils at the leading edge. The second part of the robot is this modular tool payload system where we can easily swap out the tools to perform a variety of different tasks from detailed close inspections to repair. We've developed the Bladebug robot to be offered to the industry as a tool, as a ubiquitous piece of equipment that they can use to perform detailed inspections and repairs for all parts of their wind turbine. 